one of my favourite tools next, the Format Painter tool. We can use the Format Painter tool to copy formatting from one piece of text to another. For example, if I select the word Format and apply some formatting to it, I'll change the font style, I'll make it a little bit bigger, bold, underlined, and perhaps a red font. If I want to use that styling on other words or other paragraphs, I have to remember what that is, and that can be quite tricky. I click on it, it tells me there what it is, right, Bradley hand, size 20, bold, underlined, centred. Right, so if I want to apply that to this, I've got to remember, oh, which was the font? Was it 16 or was it 14? Can't remember. It's very tricky to remember that uh, formatting. So we can use the formatting tool instead. And the way we do this is select the text that has the formatting that you want to copy. You don't have to select the whole word. As long as you've got somewhere on that word clicked on. We then use this icon. No, we don't. We use this icon, the Format Painter icon. Looks a little bit like a wallpaper pasting brush. But it's the Format Painter tool. We simply click on that icon once. As I move the cursor down now towards the rest of the screen, you'll see when it goes over text, the cursor has changed. It's now an eye beam with a brush attached to it. We can then click and drag to apply that formatting. When I let go of the mouse button, the formatting has been applied over the top of that text, and now my cursor is back to normal use. Let's try that again. We'll select the word brown, and we'll change the formatting of the word brown. Well, let's make it brown. If we want to use that formatting elsewhere, click on it, select the Format Painter tool, and then copy, uh, sorry, then click and drag over the text that you want to apply it to. And that formatting has been applied. I often like to, um, it's not a rhyme or such, but give a little way of working when I'm, I'm doing this. What I like to say is, Select the colour of the paint. If you imagine that you are painting your, your bedroom, for example, what you would do is choose the colour of paint that you want to use. You then dip your brush in, and then you then slap it on the wall. A simple operation. We'll try that again. Format the word quick. I'll change the formatting, just to make it look different. It's a bit hard to see on this screen. I'll change it to red. Red's always, always nice and easy to see. Okay, so going through the process again. Select your paint. Dip your brush in the paint. And then apply the paint. And that's as simple as it is, really. That's using the Format Painter tool. There's one other little technique that we can use with this, though. And that is, you're noticing that every time I do this, I'm having to dip in the paint, dip in the paint, and then apply. I'm having to do that every single time. If you know you go to that a few times, then what you can do is select your paint, dip your brush in twice, and that means double click once, twice. What happens then is that paint stays on your brush, and you can use it over and over and over again. You can use it as many times as you want. When you have finished using that, then you click the brush to stop using it and your cursor goes back to normal usage. One last time, select the word lazy, apply some formatting to it. Let's make this green. Select your paint, Oops. select your paint, dip your brush in either once or double click, and then apply your paint. When you finish applying your paint, click the brush again to stop using it. Format Painter, a really useful tool 
um, give it a go.